First question is from Parker Zimmerman. Is the muscle squeeze or the stretch more important for hypertrophy? Oh. Boy, you know, it's to compare to compare them to is almost impossible because yeah, they're both so both important. Vital. Yeah. They're both very important. You know, there's studies that show that the stretch portion portion of a repetition really stimulates muscle growth and gets more muscle fibers to fire. There are also studies that show this with the squeeze. You got to do both. And this, you know, I know earlier we talked about full range of motion. <coughs> this is part of that. Bodybuilders have known this for a little while. Now, the funny thing is later on, they started doing kind of shorter reps. But you go back into to the, you know, the, the 70s, the golden era of bodybuilding, and it was about full ranges of motion. And the studies support this. Now, here's the value with both of them, okay? The squeeze I find to be more important when you have trouble connecting to a muscle. Well, that's what mm -hmm. uh, Ben Pikulski would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ben Pikulski would say if you have uh, weak calves or a weak muscle part, that you probably like lagging. Yeah, lagging. Yeah, that's what I mean by weak, right? Not necessarily strong wise. I mean by look the way it looks, development. <clears throat> so if you have a lagging or weak muscle. Uh, that it's most likely that you have a poor connection in the contracted position, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you cannot connect very well to the muscle in that, in that position. So, And he's got a lot of research to support that argument. I mean, and, based and off I, my experience, I would agree. And I, I would agree too. I think that's, I think that's very true. And, so, and, and then I think in a stretch position is the easiest place for somebody to feel. That's where the most damage is done, right? So mm -hmm. a lot of the yeah. research on the eccentric portion mm -hmm. of the exercise, the negative, the way down, and, and the stretch of the muscle – that's where more of the muscle Breaks fiber damage. More, yeah. yeah, so there, there is. This is not an either or. They both are extremely valuable. Both should be included in your hypertrophy training. And and I'll take it one step further, which I say this on the show all the time: is the one that will probably give you the most bang for your buck is the one that you neglect the most. So if you're somebody who trains in the stretch position all the time and you like right. to really focus on that, but you never really focus on the contraction in the this. This is where we get into all the camps, right? Right. You know, and it's it, it's just funny because you know your muscle it, it's going to contract. You have your concentric contraction. You have your isometric contraction. You have your eccentric contraction. There's like those three factors just by themselves. Like you could develop a training protocol that's just like yeah. I'm just going to focus and just on this particular element of of the train. So both of them to me are, are massively yeah. valuable, and you should integrate both. You know, today I saw Justin doing an exercise that uh, really exemplified both of these. So he was doing uh, flies, but they were alternating, right? All oh, right. So the arm that was up, and I could tell he was doing this. By the way, you'd make a good bodybuilder. I know you act like you don't try to connect but you're all about connection it's just from oh a performance yeah, yeah standpoint yeah, yeah. but he was squeezing right so like squeezing the left pec while the right pec goes down to stretch so long squeeze long stretch and then alternating that's like a great example of taking advantage of both right mm -hmm. but i remember as a trainer when i would have a client that would say and i figured it took me a while to figure this out but if i had a client that said i don't feel my chest on a bench press or i don't feel my glutes in a squat one of the one of the ways I would get them to feel it would be right before we do the squat, I'd have them focus on squeezing that muscle in its fully contracted position and then hold the squeeze mm -hmm. for a long period of time until they could really feel that they could connect to it. Then we'd go do the exercise and boom, they were connected. And it shows up. Yeah. Now the stretch, str and when you're when you can connect to a muscle, the stretch is great, especially if you exaggerate the stretch or hold a stretch. You ever do that where you get into a position? and you're doing the fly or whatever, and you're holding that bottom position while maintaining control, and then do some reps, phenomenal. There's a what's a, there's a name for that, too. Uh, intra stretching. I forget what the name is. Oh, the intra set stretching. stretching. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's there's uh, I forget what the, that's a technique also that a lot of bodybuilders use, mm -hmm. where between sets they'll do they that. They do deep stretches. Mm -hmm. And they'll hold like a really heavy weight for, I don't know, a short period of time and then go back to it.